everybody, Jeff with Executive Gardener here. How are you? Hey, uh, so I'm going to give you an update. This uh, short video is going to be about vermicompost, and uh, that's the use of uh, composting worms to create uh, castings for your garden. As I've talked about before, uh, castings, which are what you see right here, I'll try to tune in. That's a bag full of castings. It's uh, fine black, uh, almost looks like coffee grounds <clears throat> that are extremely beneficial in microbes and other nutrients to plants, help plants resist disease, and they get a tremendous amount of nutrition from it. So this is a full, about a three pound bag of vermicompost that uh, I've gotten from uh, this bin. So what you see in this bin, I have African night crawlers. They're one of the best composting worms. They require a temperature between 55 and 75 degrees. So this bin is just a typical Tupperware bin. <clears throat> There's two levels, one at the bottom, one at the top. There's holes at the bottom. It allows uh, extra fluid to drain through. Um, so what you see in here is I have uh, numerous vegetable and uh, fruit scraps in addition to shredded paper. Uh, composting effectively to turn into this great looking black compost you need both a uh, nitrogen and a carbon source and uh, the worms take this they eat this and they uh, poop out what's called castings which are these beneficial things for plants so what you'll see here is one of my bins I'm going to show you what I do and I'll see if I can focus in and see you can see some of the compost being made uh, in the process um, for the top of the bin, I typically have a lot of shredded newspaper. I try to stay away from the colored paper, but uh, there's a few strips in there. But I shred the newspaper. And what this does is it keeps a lot of the fruit flies. You'll see there's still some fruit flies, which won't hurt you that much. They're actually a beneficial part of breaking down as well. But you don't want a tremendous amount. But uh, that's what that does. And below this is some of the vegetable and fruit scraps. I'll show you. There's probably some left over. And uh, we'll take a look here. I'm wearing the gloves because... You don't want the oil of your hands to touch the earthworms. It can be uh, detrimental to the earthworms, but I'm wearing this in case uh, many of you may think I'm a doctor or I'm not. Uh, so if you look under here, you'll see, uh, you'll see actually some of the compost already ready to go. There's some food scraps left. Uh, we'll try to find some worms, but the worms are in here. They know I'm in here, so they've usually gone to the deep part of the tub, but <clears throat> there's some down there. You'll see, this is in various stages. I have some cardboard in here, but interestingly enough, what I'm looking for is that most of the food that I put in here appears to have been eaten, and uh, that's a good sign. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I do to put more food in here. Um, there's a, some remnants left, but they've gone through a lot of that, and um, when, 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 when the, the worms see the light, they go to the bottom of the bin. So with this light, it uh, forces them to go to the bottom of the bin. So here's an example. Here's a, looks like a tomato, which is being worked on. It's not completely done yet, but I'm gonna add some more here because they need some additional food source, some uh, nitrogen source. So this is the bin. This is the African night crawlers. Typically once a week, I have to refill it with food. And uh, what I'll show you here is what I use. So this is kind of a mixture, uh, a mishmash of uh, banana peels, some pear that was rotting, lettuce, celery, and some other stuff. And I try to chop it up as small as possible. And the reason why is that obviously earthworms, or excuse me, composting worms don't have huge mouths and it takes them a while to break it down. So this is what I do. When I put it in, I typically, uh, I'll show you, I, I rotate different parts of the bin. So let's just pick this space now and uh, just grab a handful as such and then kind of spread it around there. I put the newspaper over the top and the newspaper, again, helps keep some of the fruit flies off of it uh, and so forth. But that, that bit that I just put in right there probably will uh, be gone within a week. So these things are pretty vibrant eaters and uh, do a great job. So this is the African Nightcrawler bin. In a second, I'll break off and show you the Red Wiggler <clears throat> bin, which are a smaller type of worm that eat a little less. But uh, these things are doing great. As you'll see, <clears throat> I have a good amount of compost right there. You'll see there's some worms that are that you can probably see uh, that they're working on it. But the interesting thing about these worms is that they will, <clears throat> interestingly enough, um, um, probably increase 25, 30% in the next three months. So they reproduce very quickly under the right heat environments and the right uh, moisture, etc. So uh, this is the African nightcrawler bin. I'll zoom in 
on the uh, that Wiggler bin in a second. Thanks. So this is the uh, Red Wiggler uh, worm factory. These are a different type of worm, same type of concept. It's a little bit different. You'll see there's a multi-tiered system here with a spigot at the bottom, uh, shredded paper. But I just uh, put some scraps in here, see if we can find some of these worms to see what they look like. There they are. There's one right there. There's some in the newspaper. Um, let's see if you can find a few. There they are. See them? All the worms and that all that stuff underneath. That's all great compost. So it's a little bit wet right now. You'll see when you put seeds in here, sometimes sprouts grow. But uh, that's the result of uh, a nice moist environment. And uh, let me see if I can see a few other worms. Um, yeah, there's some in there. They're in between the compost. But but uh, anyway, this is the red wiggler worm. Again, they they. Uh, Compost a little slower than the African night crawlers are probably half the size, but still do a pretty good job. It's another type of composting worm. And again, the end result is what you're looking for is this here. That is worm castings. It's kind of like the texture of coffee grounds, but uh, if any of you garden, I'm telling you, if you do tomatoes, peppers, whatever, if you want the healthiest plants around, you'll do what this is. It's uh, the worm castings and composting with uh, worms. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Enjoy your day.